Hello Beardsman, my name's Drew, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my experience collaborating with Beardbrand. As a disclaimer, I want to just mention that Beardbrand has had absolutely no input as to whether or not uh, they wanted me to make this video. This is totally on my accord. I want to do this myself to share this uh, exp experience with you guys. So just in case, you know, you're thinking about getting into the beard game and you want to, you know, you want to collaborate with other people or you're a YouTuber, or aspiring YouTuber, maybe this will help you guys. And uh, just kind of want to paint a picture of uh, Beard Brand as a company so you guys can learn about them a little bit more the same way that I have. Let me see here. I've made a list of things I want to talk about. I've also left my beard and my hair looking pretty ratty just so that I can use some of their products and just uh, kind of as a as B footage today so that it's a little more entertaining for you. So I'll start off by saying that I'm a YouTuber and uh, I've been grinding it out for years on YouTube. I started off doing random videos and then it's gone into bearding for the last qu quite a few years. And uh, up until about a year ago, I really wasn't having much success on YouTube. I, I had, you know, five or 6,000 subscribers, which was great, but I was putting a lot and a lot of effort in there and I just wasn't getting the exposure. So I wasn't sure if it was based on my personality or if it was based on my content or just the fact that YouTube was, you know, is expanding exponentially and pretty much, you know, I'm a small fish. So uh, I just wasn't getting the right, the, the right exposure that I was hoping for based on the amount of effort I was putting into it. So I decided about a year ago that I was really gonna step up my game and really try to make this into sort of a business for myself. So that's what I've been doing recently. I've been really putting a lot of energy into this, trying to make it more of like a bearded community. So one of the main tips that I realized when you're when you're trying to grow on YouTube is that uh, you wanna start collaborating with other people that have the similar subscriber base to you or, or more if you can, um, in order to kind of cross collaborate, you know, in your, and uh, you can share share that kind of way so like around 2012 is when I first started kind of going a little bit viral actually with my beard videos and I was getting a lot of exposure uh, around that time so uh, and around that same time I started noticing there were other beard channels out there I was watching and uh, Eric Bandholz who is the creator of Beard Brand uh, he was posting I think around the same time he had videos that had about the same number of views as me but obviously he's he took the, his his channel and his business to a totally different level. He's been on Shark Tank, uh, ABC Shark Tank, national television shows, um, trying to get a deal there. Uh, he's been, you know, he's he's all over the internet. He has great content, and at, at this point, he's got I think over 500,000 subscribers on his Beard Brand channel. I mean, it's not just his channel; it, it's a group of people that are working there. But still, he's you know he's grown exponentially. So about a year ago, I actually came across his other secondary channel, which I don't think he's been posting on recently too much, but it's more of, uh, it does not beard related, it's more of just kind of a, a thought process for him. He, he talks about different things that are either, you know, important to him or things that he, I think he thinks he can help, you know, kind of benefit the world in a different way. And I really got hooked on his videos because, you know, he's a pretty profound guy. If you listen to him, he's got a lot of good ideas. So anyway, I thought maybe this would be the chance for me to to write to him and say, hey, uh, I know you only have about, I think you only had about 2,000 subscribers at the time. Maybe you want to collaborate. I have about seven or eight and uh, we can, you know, I can, maybe maybe we could do something that way. Maybe people who watch you will then kind of hop over and we can we can trade, trade people that way. So he wrote back to me and funny enough, and actually to my surprise, he said that he wasn't really interested in growing that channel. That's just kind of a fun channel for him. He was more interested in having me focus on Beard Brand, which to me was like, holy jumping, I'm now gonna be in front of this huge audience, which is awesome because that was my goal anyway. I was thinking, this is awesome. I can create some sort of good content for Beard Brand in exchange for some exposure. So that was where I was headed and I was super excited about that. So uh, let me tell you about how I kind of eventually got onto the Beard Brand channel. So a little over a year ago, I contacted him through his YouTube channel privately and he actually called me from Texas and I'm up here uh, just north of Toronto, Canada. And uh, the, the conversation was pretty embarrassing on my side because uh, it went something like, it was like, hey, hey, Eric, hey, Eric, how's it going? How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, it's so awesome. Th thanks for calling me. And, and he was just kind of like, yeah, so you want to do, uh, you want to do some sort of collaboration? Was, yeah, yeah, that would be great. That, that would be really cool. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I feel like you're like a, like a celebrity. I'm, I'm so, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. And he's like, nah, man, I'm just a regular guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I was a total nervous wreck talking to this guy. And I mean, it's not like he's a like a huge celebrity, but he's just someone I've been watching for a long time. And again, he'd been on national television, all this stuff. So I'm terrible on the phone as it is. But anyway, that's how the conversation went. It was totally awkward. But 
obviously he thought it was okay because uh, he was still happy to, to feature me on his channel. So over the next two months, we kind of emailed each other back and forth a little bit. Uh, we were discussing different titles for the video, different concepts as to what the, the topic should be for the video. And we also kind of discussed the format, how I would lay it out. We talked about how uh, videos that do well tend to be kind of short and to the point, more like step videos. And after we kind of settled on an idea, I wrote the, the content, I filmed, the, filmed and edited the video kind of in my style, and then I sent it over to Beard Brands so that they could give it a once over, double check that everything was in line with their views, and then they added their intro, outro to it and uh, officially they gave me an official time for when they would release it so that I could be prepared and could be could be responding to comments as soon as they came in. Now we decided on the title five natural ways to go from patchy to full beard and um, that video now has over 300,000 views on it which is pretty amazing and, uh, and that was only in about a year time a year's time so that's that's awesome they got a lot of you know views from that video they would have got some AdSense revenue from it and in exchange I got um, some some eyes on my channel and within the first I want to say within the first two weeks my channel grew by about a thousand subscribers so I was at that point I was like yeah I'm blowing up this is amazing it's not gonna stop but it did taper off after that first two weeks it was like I was up by like a thousand subs and then you know kind of dwindled back down to my, my regular but still it was good exposure and uh, you know I got a lot of new fans which was great and since then I've kind of moved from working with just Eric Banholtz to working with two other guys on the team Josh who's super cool guy I talk to him all the time on uh, through email and he was kind of my first contact and you know he set me up with a bunch of uh, free products to try out and I'll you know these are the ones I've probably been using so far in this video but I'm filming this first so we'll see anyway tea tree was my one of my favorite scents I really like it it's natural and it smells great and uh, so he sent me a whole bunch of stuff after that he moved on he's still in the company still doing different stuff but then I started talking to Jack who you guys probably know as well who's also equally as cool he's doing his own year project right now and um, he's he's such a kind guy like he he even I'm doing I have a, my own t-shirt that I set up because I just finished my year project where I grew the beard for the entire year to offer you guys some tips and tricks of different products that were working for me to make it look fuller he liked my design on my shirt so much that he actually ordered one for himself. Hey, what's going on? It's Jack Malaco. It's the week 14 update on the growing of my beard for an entire year. Which supported me, which was awesome. And then he gave me a plug in one of his update videos. He's wearing it. It looks great on him. If you've noticed this shirt, this is actually not one that I just randomly found. This is from uh, one of our collaborators, Drew Tires. If you've ever checked out his channel, Drew's Obsessions, he is selling this shirt right now, the Project 365, because he just finished his year. So if you want to support him and what he does, go check it out. I'll post the link in the description and maybe pick up one of his shirts. I love it. And uh, and it was just, it blew me away that he was willing to do, to do this, even though that's not his company. He wasn't making any money off of that. That was totally on his accord. So that made me feel really, really good that he was, you know, supporting me. And overall, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that Beard Brand is not just your typical beard company. There are a lot of beard companies right now. It's, it's exploding. You can type in beard companies into Google and you'll see there are a million different companies and there are a lot of really good ones out there. But what I like about Beard Brand is that they're, they're always they're always helping the little guy. They're helping you know other YouTubers. They've had me obviously featured. They've had um, Beard Tube, which you probably recognize uh, on there is also a huge YouTube channel. They've had Gray Bailey, who is uh, the Sultan of Silver, who had that big white beard. He's since then kind of switched focus. He's not doing as much beard stuff now, but but still, you know, he, they're always focusing on other people that are actually passionate about beards. So I guess my recommendation is if you are a small time beard guy who really loves bearding and you're willing to create your own content that's that's helping the community in a positive way, I would say reach out to them because, you know, there's a chance they might feature you on their channel as well. And, uh, and it definitely worked for me and it's still working for me. I still hope to be working with them more often as well. It's, it's time consuming when I'm trying to run my channel as well and, and work and pay the bills and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so hopefully down the road, there'll be more content that I can feature on their channel. I just also want to mention that this, uh, they just sent me this t-shirt. So I thought I would wear it in this video to represent and give them a little payback since they wore my t-shirt in their videos. And also, you know, check them out if you haven't seen Beer Brand before. Definitely worth it, high quality products. And I hope this helped you guys uh, get a little insight as to how my collaboration process works. So uh, stay tuned and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.